contemporary theology uses the historical critical method. This method has roots in modernism and the Enlightenment. It must be admitted that it has enriched the study of the Bible in terms of history, archaeology or geography. However, it bears very negative fruits with regard to the saving faith. It undermines its very essence. How was the faith undermined? The root of the historical critical method is a theistic philosophy. Professor Linnemann, a student of Bultmann, the leading representative of this method, literally says, we have sacrificed generation after generation of believing Christian young people who were willing and eager to serve God to the Moloch of an atheistic theology. This theology ignores the spiritual aspect of the Bible, which is the Bible's very essence. The so-called demythologization of Scripture has denied all supernatural elements. It has denied all the miracles of Jesus Christ, including his real and historical resurrection. It has even denied the divine inspiration of the scriptures. If we even tried to apply the historical critical method to the system of the New World Order, we have to know that this method is insufficient. Why is it insufficient? Because it ignores the spiritual essence. The Bible is inspired by the spirit of truth and life. The New World Order is inspired by the spirit of lies and death. So on one side is the Kingdom of God, and on the other side is the Kingdom of Darkness. We must know it. Without this assumption, neither the Bible nor the New World Order can be properly analyzed. The critical method examines only the external activity and structure of Freemasons or the Illuminati. It arranges certain historical facts, reveals contexts and show goals. The power behind the New World Order is the world's elites which worship Satan and are in rebellion against the true God. How has this elite influenced the events in Europe over the past three centuries? Using this method we can find out that in the 18th and 19th centuries this semi-secret organization influenced the prominent persons in politics, philosophy, culture 
and art. We can find out its influence on rectors and deans at universities, as well as its long-term plans for transforming the society. We can make a survey of its influence on the birth of the Enlightenment and the Great French Revolution. One can also shed light on its relation to Darwinism. This ideology, spreading an evolutionary utopia, falsely and purposefully denied God the Creator. Similarly, with the help of this method, we can do research in the 20th century. We can examine the influence of Freemasons on the outbreak of the two world wars and on the foundation of various international organizations. We can explore the links with world bankers as well as the behind-the-scenes influence on world politics. Did this organization infiltrate the church? Yes. One can prove infiltration, for example, through Cardinal Rampola, Cardinal Kernick, or the prelate Roncalli, later Pope John XXIII. The infiltration was extremely strong through the Second Vatican Council. Today, we are reaping the poisoned fruits. Does the Masonic organization have its predecessors in history? It does. It is possible to historically prove the connection to the Rosicrucians, the Templars, the Knights of Malta, or to other orders and societies which trace back to the ancient Gnosis. If we go deeper, the roots go back to pagan idolatry involving divination, black magic, spiritualism and human sacrifice to the devil. All this can be documented and explored by historical critical science. Is there anything which falls outside the scope of this historical method? Yes. The essential thing, namely the spiritual dimension. The scripture reveals its saying. Satan disguises himself here as an angel of light. Second Epistle to Corinthians, chapter 11. One must know that the leading members of this elite organization are no atheists, but dedicated Satanists. Do they also perform the ritual sacrifice? Their ritual sacrifice, moreover, is of a modern and mass character. One of such mass sacrifices is children stolen by the juvenile justice system, their abuse and consequently 
child suicides. Another mass sacrifice is a society demoralized by gender ideology. The basic cell of society, the family, is being destroyed. Today, the elites no longer conceal their plan of reduction that is the Holocaust of mankind. Can members of these elites be members of the Church? No. They cannot and are not members of the Church even if they remain in the church structure or even hold the highest positions in the church. What about the lifting of the excommunication of Freemasons? The lifting of the excommunication of Freemasons by John Paul II is invalid. A person dedicated to the devil in a Masonic ritual cannot be a member of the Church of Christ. Is there still a way to salvation? Yes. The way to salvation is a change of mind, metanoia. Jesus warns even today, unless you repent, you will all perish. <laughs>